Being a Christian woman and walking in God's calling for our lives can be a difficult task. With the world and pop culture telling us to be one way, and the Bible saying another, you kind of end up feeling like an other. Well, you're not alone. Join me now and my friends as we navigate life in our 20s and 30s, while making sure we live out our faith, embrace our femininity, and looking cute. We discuss pop culture, life, careers, relationships, and so much more. Prepare to be entertained and educated. I know you're going to love it. Join our movement and embrace being another girl. The views expressed on this podcast are our own and do not reflect our employers. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. You are listening to Those Are the Girls with Mallory and Friends. I'm Mallory. And I'm Isabel. And we are changing culture and bringing back traditional values. Welcome back to another tea cap. Um, we are kind of back into rotation. We'll see. But welcome back. I'm super glad you're here. If this is your first time listening, what we do here is ideally the plan. And um, next in 2025, we'll get completely back on track. Ideally, the plan is to do a tea cap every week. Mm. So what that is is we are talking about like hot topics that have come up and this week we have some like some topics um and then sometimes we'll do interviews about just different topics and like discussions on career pop culture relationships um we are in our 30s pretty much trying to next month i Um, know i'm so excited i have so many questions for you but okay um and um we are just kind of here just living life we're navigating it as a christian girl Oh, sorry. Ooh, and it's like that October, like all week. It has been so cold. Uh, oh my god! North I know. Carolina. I literally forgot that we had cold weather. That cold weather existed on this earth. Yeah, I will say yesterday was a little bit better. Actually, it was a lot better yesterday. Yeah. I, and I went. Well, I know we'll talk about it later. But yeah. yeah anyway, it's about how are you doing? Oh, should we? I'm doing good. Week was good. Just a lot of work. It was actually very, very just up and down with my job but all is good i feel like this weekend has just been very relaxing every time i have a very busy week at work i always try to decompress so like taking a workout class a pilates or whatever getting her makeup did just like i did today you look great Um, (laughs) just doing something to you know um relax and just really chill out before the work week i feel like you blink i mean you work um you know you work nine to five two mel it's like yeah. you blink and then the weekend's over so it's just like mm-hmm. what do you do what, what do you sacrifice like do i clean do i do something fun do i sleep what do you do but i'm trying to do a little bit of everything and yeah, it's been good today yeah we actually had a cold front but like our cold friends like six degrees um how cold is it over there is that's it like a cold good cold? question it's cold enough for me to like pull out my uggs um it works <laughs> My Uggs. Yes, ma'am. I'm still wearing Uggs in 2024. You will not Girl. stop me. I know, um, too. I want to get the dupes on Amazon. They're like 20 bucks. They're like the little slipper ooh, ones. Ooh, okay. These are because, ones that I've legit had since like high school. Like I don't yeah. like. Uggs was big back in the day. Back in yeah. high school. Yeah. I can say that because they're both the same age. I'm actually older, so. Barely. Like <laughs> what year did you graduate high school? 2012. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, and I was 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because of your birthday, because you have a late birthday. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Your birthday's yeah. coming. In. I know. Okay. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but anyways, yeah, <laughs> week was good. Just trying to relax. And today, I'm uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna do like take it easy, go grocery shopping. My whole thing is like I'm telling you, trying to get in the gym. It's like okay, I can get to the gym, but now can I eat right? And you really can't eat right if you're always on the go. It makes it a little bit that harder. That is so true. You just have to meal prep. Like you really have to prep mm-hmm. because the, as soon as you wake up, if you don't have what you're gonna eat already there, it's like you go to the drive-through or you buy your mm-hmm. coffee. Honestly, having these cute little cups and stuff like just gets me in the mood to make my own coffee at home and thinking at Starbucks or something. Um, <laughs> but I don't even. Anyways, so yeah. Um, doing some stuff to get prepared for the week um and and definitely going outside it's such a pretty day today like this is like top tier brunch like houston brunch weather yeah that's it yeah fun. Fun, fun, fun. um this week work 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 except for monday i think i had was it no. monday off yeah i had monday off because it was a holiday um but otherwise and even, yeah and even on the holiday i did stuff for my other 
things that I do, podcasts, jewelry Your store, writing. entrepreneur life. Yes, as you know, a busy <laughs> entrepreneur that has to still work a nine to five. Um, no, did you see that meme? It was like, oh, I think I posted in my story. It was like, these days, a job don't be enough. You got to cut hair. You got to do makeup. Yeah. You got to yeah, cut yeah, a little yeah. grass. No, like, literally. To... Everyone I know. I feel like it was very taboo back, in, maybe back a few years ago, maybe even 10 years ago to say that you had a side job. But like everyone's like, all right, so what do you do outside of work? Like, what do you do outside of work? Because it's almost like we know you do something else. Like, we know the little paycheck ain't cutting it, you know? Yeah. It's just funny. Um, But yeah, a lot of people think I'm full-time content creator. And I'm all like, uh, yes and no, because I also have a full-time job. So yeah, uh, it's, I get it, girl. I get the struggle. But at least you yeah. get like the like the federal holidays off and stuff, right? I do. Yes, I get the federal holidays off. So I do get. Well, it's not as many as you would think, but I do get those off. And then let me tell you something. I use, if I, so I don't really get like sick, sick. Not the one. Yeah. Every time I say that, like I get a cold or something. I know you're like, you get the flu. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've actually never had the flu, but yes, I, I, I don't really get like sick, sick. So I typically Brain have sick days. Um, I typically have sick days left over. And let me tell you, yeah. I will take a mental health day. I use my yeah. days like, cause your sick like, days period. don't roll over. Yeah. You sick days all over, so I will use them. Don't you worry about that. Um, exactly. So I have the federal holidays off and that of those. But yeah, so anyway, so this week, um, work, work, work. And then yesterday with some friends, <clears throat> I went to this fall festival that was like really I random. Saw. Yeah. So cute. It was. It was cute. It was really random. Like I, it was random. And then let me tell you something else about me. Um, I hate driving. Like, I cannot express how much I hate driving. Me and so, Mel, sure. This is why we're best friends, because I'm like, I hate driving, too. Remember we talked about in our first yes, episode? Yes. Hate driving. Yes. My dream. With one a of passion. my passion. Like, with a passion. If I ever got any extra money, it would be spent on a driver. I would be, like, lane. a driver. I hate driving. Anyway, so, to and because of that, I also hate parking. So to get to you right. know, festivals, Put that in your husband application must be able to drive. So literally, and I will say like most guys that I have dated are like, oh yeah, I love to drive, which is perfectly fine with me. Like, okay, yeah. then do it. Like, here's my keys. Um, You're like, here, but, like, and I'm like, they're like, you don't care that I get your car. I'm like, trust me, I probably trust you more with my car than uh, no, me even like my car. low key, like, yeah, I. Oh my yeah. gosh, <laughs> there was just one, a girl. There was this one time. Um, I was. Uh, <laughs> A church person, someone from my church, let me use their car because I didn't have a car at the time, and um, it was a really Not nice car. Um, I was driving and like I just made this turn and like actually yeah. once again I've never been in an accident, not going. And um, oh my god, girl, I made this turn and it like you know like, like, like we were all safe. We get to the gas station. My boyfriend goes. And at the time I was dating someone, I don't have a boyfriend. Ever. Yeah. And at the time I was, dating, and um, he's like, he was in the passenger seat. He's like, um, you know, I can drive us. Like, it's no problem. I was like, yeah, no, no. He's like, no, no, no. I will drive us. Like, it's you go ahead and give me the keys. Cause like, I just, I hated like, and I don't even remember why we took my car that time. There was it, like, no. That was crazy though for you because you don't like, you've never had a car accident. My, my PTSD came after my car accident accidents. Cause I was in a few. Oh, so, wow. Like, oh, excuse me. That was where my fear came from. I think it's just like I'd rather not deal with it. And I think yeah. also being a, in a big city, like Houston traffic is the, probably the, one of the worst in like the nation. Second yeah. of all, it's the parallel parking. That's what I always tell my friends, oh. please don't pick your birthday dinner at somewhere where I can park. And now, you know, now that I'm able to afford it, like, yes, I would will, will rather pay valet because oh, I'm 100%. not dealing with that. I would like, pay to go into the, um, what do you call those? The garages. You know, sometimes there's Literally. the garages. I'll be like, Twenty dollars, and I don't have to like try to parallel park and drive. So yeah, my whole point in telling this parking and driving thing is like yesterday. It was uh, I was having a really hard time oh, to park. Okay, I okay, told okay. myself, I said I'm gonna go around one more time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna meet them at the next location. Like I'm not doing it. But thankfully, I did find a pl- a place. But yeah, I really said I was like I'm gonna go one more time, and then I'm just gonna text them. Couldn't find parking. Let me know when we go. Because the next thing we did was go to a pumpkin patch. I was like, let me know when we go to the pumpkin patch. And I'll meet you guys there, cause like I just Seriously. like not for like me. you're willing to you're willing to like uh, freaking miss out on an event. 100%. Like it, it's bad. It's, it's so bad. bad. It's and bad. I, I'm like I feel seen because like we don't talk about that. We don't talk about these issues. <laughs> <laughs> there's no people not education on there's how not education. 
on how it feels to not want to drive. You know, yeah, and honestly, I I want to be that person that just doesn't care. It could park and like <laughs> that's not a worry in their life. But that that is like I am like freak, internally freaking out. That's why I am. T- I'm so happy I'm done with dating because and I tell my boyfriend, please don't take take me out of like don't get me back in that dating pool. They Girl, just joke around. Hold on but to because him. because. <laughs> No, hold on. No, hold on. You, you don't want me out here. The, <laughs> all these videos on the comments, I swear, people are so funny. They're like, where you get that? You get that on Amazon? Oh, yeah. yeah. Get your boyfriend on Amazon. No, but seriously, because when I would go on dates, I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm trying to get there early, trying to do my hair, like, freaking out about the date itself. And then I got to find parking, like, lower. Oh, no. Like, I'm just a girl. Yeah. So I'm like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I then you don't want to see, you don't want them to see you pull up and you're like struggling to park. No. Uh, like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I feel like your paint just said. Yeah. So that anyways. was yesterday. And then we <laughs> went to a pumpkin patch uh, and made <laughs> pumpkins and that was fun. It was good. Nice little fall day. I still um, need to do that, honestly. I'm yeah. not doing a pumpkin patch. Yeah. Go get some pumpkins with your girlies. I got a tiny one. Um, It's cute. I kind of paint. Um, and it was for two dollars. It was really cheap. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, it was really right. cheap. Some people carved. I had no interest in carving, but some people carved. I think there's like twenty dollars. Still cheap. Yeah, I had no interest in carving. So you were just taking pictures, looking it's cute. Well, I, I painted it. Like I, I did my contribution. Oh, okay. I painted mine. They like literally like with the knives and like scoop stuff out. I was like, no, not the knives. Not I don't, yeah, I don't really that's like. I was never gross. a big fan of arts and crafts yeah I'm right. it's was... funny like i love jewelry making i love jewelry making yeah i like like the girlier things maybe yeah i'm not really a yeah. like i can't draw to save my life i can't like there's nothing i can't even draw a straight Probably line either. with a ruler like it's actually like sometimes i think i have something wrong with me like i cannot draw a straight <laughs> line with a ruler so like i'm not good at that stuff but i do like jewelry making and i oh. like I don't hey, know, everyone, it's weird. We, you know what I realized? Like, it's okay. Like, we are good at what we do. Like, yes, you're right. You know, I'm, you know they, there's a podcast they were talking about ADHD, and um, I'm like, you know, they're just like, just get, do, don't see it as like a weakness, see it as a strength, and just get paid for it. Like, a lot of people, and I consider myself a yapper, and it's like, no, we just got, girl, we gotta get this podcast going. We gotta, we gotta get out here because you know we can, we can be unstoppable so you just have to go with what you're good at god gave us our exactly. gifts for a reason we just have to instead of looking down on them because i'm not gonna lie sometimes i'm like well, can i be the mysterious girly but i'm like that's just not in my nature i just i will never stop talking yeah no same i was thinking that yeah. too like i have something going on in my life and i really 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 want to yeah, share it's reconnecting sorry um I don't know if that's... and oh. the, we're back uh this is like a technical, technical difficulty, difficulty but yeah you know the show must go on um I'm telling you. what i was saying was um i there's some things i really really want to share but i'm not going to but like i really really and you're right like it's in our nature to like want to talk and like share but i've so learned I've learned though like sometimes you really like if you want something to happen you really gotta keep your mouth shut so yeah that's what i'm yeah, trying to do in the situation age, you know i'm telling you yeah you do the advice thing later on because i do think like for all my baby gappers you'll learn and you do you know we do it we 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 can control more than we think. So for sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And there's a difference between like telling your really good friends that are going to root for you and people that you're friends with. But, you know, yeah. like, and I've said this a thousand times that we, we got to get to the source. But I've said this a thousand times. Like I have friends in different categories. Some of my friends I'm really close with. I value their yeah. friendship. I'm so grateful for them. Like I know that they'll pray for me. I know that they have my best interest. And then some yeah. friends are just your friends you do activities with. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that still yeah, love them still sure. respect them i would still you know take a bullet for them or whatever but like it's just a, a different bullet. level of friendship <laughs> maybe not a bullet but you know what i mean <laughs> i'll call that one one for them for sure yeah <laughs> i'll take a bb gun bullet for you <laughs> yeah um but anyway on a more switching gears on a more somber um no let's get into the stories um yes. obviously we'll the into- first story is the one that everybody is talking about that we'll probably talk about for like two more weeks. Like that's on the everyone's discussing. It's Liam Payne from One Direction's death. Um, oh yeah. First question: Were you a One Direction fan growing up? So I can't say that I was. I really can't. I'm not gonna be. A, I'm not gonna be phony. But my sister, so I'm a Gen Z sister, and she basically grew up with One Direction. 
Um, mm-hmm. So it, it still hits home because of her. And like, I'm, it's a, it's crazy how the generations are taking it. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. uh, for those of you that don't know, I do have a Gen Z sister and we're like 15 years apart. So anyways, her growing up childhood was very different than mine. And I think it definitely resonates with her a little bit more than with me. But still, I mean, it's still a tragedy when you think about any any loss of life is tragedy. So a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like it's one of those moments where, you know, 15, 20 Did years you grow up with where them? were you? So, yeah. Yes. OK, so middle in the middle school and definitely the beginning of high school, I liked them. I realized, though, I wasn't like and we talked about this last week. I'm I've never been like a mega fan for people. I yeah, me just either. recently found out Liam had a child. I didn't know that. I, I didn't even. I, I, thought I didn't know. Another one had a child. I'm still unsure. And then, you know, with everything, I've been getting more information. And the person he had the child with was one of the judges on the show. He so like, but I truly do like the music and like I liked it. I remember. So yeah. I actually, text, I almost texted one of my friends from high school that I don't really talk to anymore because I anymore. just remember. Yeah. Yeah, because I just remembered that when we were in high school, her sister sometimes would take us um, home and we would get in her car and listen to One Direction. And it just, I have like happy memories with them. Exactly. So like Uh, that aspect? Yeah, go ahead. There's a few songs that are for sure good um, that I I definitely listen to and I would put it on repeat. But like to say I was going to go to their concert, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to laugh and say that, you know. But like you said, I'm not a big concert goer anyways. So that's not really, a, I guess, a good a good comparison. But yeah, it was just, it was definitely um, shocking for sure. Especially because, you know, when you think about our age, you're like, I'm literally going to be 31 in like three months. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's so young. Like, you know, we always say, oh my God, I'm 30, blah, blah, blah. Like we're so old. But we really, if you think about it, we really aren't. And like yeah. to see that and, you know, his life, he still had so much life ahead of him. And then tra- tragically ended, I think also like, the way it happened was also tragic so it's not just like someone dying of old age or something you know it was like it, it was just horrible all around uh but yeah i didn't even know he was a dad like, i didn't even know how i honestly didn't even know how old they were until i, I saw 31 were... dead at 31 yeah. and i'm like oh my gosh that's like literally a year a year older than me that's our age so, i mean we're yeah, in the same our age. bracket yeah i knew yeah. that because at the time i liked zane of course, and um, you know, oh, and the closer is, to your uh, age, the, the, uh, the Gigi Hadid, I think Gigi's Gigi's baby daddy. Baby daddy. Yeah, <laughs> I was like baby daddy because they're not married and they're yeah. not together. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. Crazy. So, and that's because I liked him. I knew he was around our age because you know when you're yeah. younger, like, well, is there a possibility? You know, not being yeah. straight. Um, because we were the same age. I know, but, yeah, but it's so, funny because, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't, we didn't see them that way because we were that way. Like, their teenage years were our teenage years, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm, like, looking at my like, window. Someone's, like, someone's coming up to our door. I know. I probably, you probably can see where I, someone's coming up to our door, and I'm just trying to figure out, like, funny. what is he doing? In the meantime, I have to show oh, you guys. Oh, Amazon. These, we're going with it. It was Amazon. Oh, oh we're here, like, look at my outfit. Outfit of the day. <laughs> Sorry. What, what jersey are you wearing? Girl, let me tell you, I am wearing a yours, okay? I love Ooh. these earrings. Can you actually, you can actually tell them about your jewelry line, the pink rose. And uh, yes. what are these earrings called again? Those are the U Bolds. U Bolds. You oh, we love and We love them. We love her. We love these. Yes. The pink rose, so not to like, you know, plug in the middle of like our segment on someone's death. He's a little done with that. I just wanted to mention it. Um, I'm sorry. You were looking no, no, at no. Amazon. <laughs> I know, I know. I got really distracted. That's not good. Like, the, don't use this as like a thing on our character, you guys. Um, this is okay, like no, a I'm serious sorry, sorry. topic, but no, 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 like, don't. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I saw Amazon and I, I just saw random. I didn't. I don't see the truck, so I just saw this guy coming up, and I'm just like, what oh is yeah, he that doing is scary. Are house? you by yourself? I can be. I'm like, are you by yourself? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was gonna. Yes, I am. As soon as about oh, okay, you guys okay. hear this, I won't be by myself. So I can say, yeah, I am by myself. So it's kind of like, oh, okay. um, I know. I was like, oh, it won't be recorded by the time. Anyway, yeah, okay. yeah, it's not live. But, it's not so, live. So yes, it was okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's yeah. Go back. Okay. So serious. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it was tragic when I heard the news, especially how yeah. everything happened. Like I said, I think it was sad, and then everything that unfolded afterwards. 
Um, especially realizing, like I said, I, he had a family, he had a, a baby, yeah. right? Or a, a girl or boy, yeah. I'm not really a sure. A boy. Had named something? Bear. Bear. Oh, Wait, like, I knew it was something Bear and Teddy. Oh, Bear. Yeah. I'll tell you um, a cute nickname so for Bear. I know. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, so that's just, I'll tell you. And there's, there is a song that was like, I think my little sister played it last night. It was something about, uh, well, I'm not going to try to sing, but it was something around <laughs> like, uh, something about like, a, well, it's going to be written on his tombstone or something like that. Um, yeah. When I go or something. I was like, oh my You know what that one? I think I know what you're talking about. Is it that one? It's going to be written in its stone. We all know. Y'all read in the last song. Oh, um. Give me a beat, girl. What's that one? That song? I don't know. These words would be written on the last song or something like that. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Well, let's not try to sing. Anyway, the point is it's sad. Um, Yeah. And. What so what I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit because this is what it always meant. Whenever anyone dies, like yeah. celebrity, non-celebrity, um, I'll just I'll never forget. There was this guy, don't know his name, never met him, but apparently this was like back in college. Everyone that I went to high school with, pretty much mm-hmm. everyone that who went to the same church I did when I lived in um, Charlotte knew this guy, and he passed away. And I don't know how he. I never met him, and they wrote. Of these amazing things about him and like he was well, young he was like our age and they were all and i just remember thinking like this is so beautiful like i hope that when i die people could say like nice yeah. things about me i hope i can have this type of impact on people like that's really what like leaving a legacy is so i just yes. wanted i was what is like a legacy like you want to leave behind whether you're doing it now or whether you're something you want to do in the future like what is something that you're thinking of that you were like, you know what? When I die, like I want people to think about this when they think of me. You know, yeah, you know what's crazy is like nobody wants to talk about that. It's like morbid, but honestly, like you really do because, and I think that's also like as a Christian, right? Our life is supposed to be like this is this is not the end for us. You know, there mm-hmm. is eternity, and I think like we forget that sometimes because you're like, oh, I want the I want that good job, that good car, that this and this and that, and then you kind of forget like what your purpose in life really is and mm-hmm. when you when you die no one's gonna remember what clothes you wear and like what oh maybe they will remember the clothes. <laughs> but then i can remember like the car or how much money you made how much money was in your bank account or the nice fancy cars you know they're gonna be like oh that person was so sweet to me that person was kind when i needed them to be kind that person spoke life to me so i would hope to leave a legacy of like hey that person saw me and you know, because I always try to make that a, a, a like a commitment to myself when I see other people, whether uh, just trying to make their life a better, even if it's not monetarily or with uh, materialistically, but like even just speaking life to them. Um, so I would hope that that's something that, you know, a legacy that I could leave is like, oh, I always felt seen by her. I always felt like she well, um, she she was a good listener and a good friend friend <laughs> a good friend. friend um you know so yeah. definitely something uh you know that you want to be remembered by and i feel like it's never too soon to talk about all this stuff because you know like you said you want to have that in perspective it's actually funny i was watching a tiktok and this girl this lady was talking about leaving a legacy and she was like yeah you know we need to speak to young women about hey what, what's your legacy like what's your purpose like really dive into that because that's gonna that's what's the most meaningful thing in life not about like what career you choose or you know how much money you have and all this stuff I'm not saying that that's bad you should definitely invest and make good financial decisions and have a good career whatever but then it's also like the other things um that you're gonna leave behind you know that people are gonna remember yeah. you by so yeah for yeah. sure and to be better off of that oh and one second let me like i had to stop piggybacking off what you said to that respect yeah. like if you want to live a, a certain type of legacy then how you treat people is going to be affected by that too like i think that's why at least yeah, to no. me it's important to write down your goals and write down like who you want to be perceived as because that's going to dictate like how you're going to go about this world and i know sometimes people think that's like overthinking it but like i personally like that's why sometimes um my friends will be like hey we're doing this thing i really want you to come blah 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 and 
my right yeah. now my goals are not necessarily like hanging out my goals are to be successful in certain areas of my life and if what you guys are doing doesn't align with my goals I have to be brave enough have enough discipline and motivation to say I can't do x y and z yeah. so I think I just, we always say your purpose uh, it's not just about you. It's about serving God through your your the gifts that He gives serving, you, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You're you're um I'm trying to think about all these things, and I think about these things all the time. Like even if I'm in my car, and now I'm like, of course, the one time where I'm like, I can actually talk about it. I'm like, mm, I'm like, you know. <laughs> but it was there was a, there was the, you know, and that's why I love going to graduations. I um like something about just uh, like whether it's a college graduation, high school. Um, it really just brings, especially as someone that's done, been there, done that, it it just gives you a good, like, refresher of, like, you know, you're so hopeful when you go through these milestones in life. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, what do I want to do? Like, what what are my goals? Like, what do I want to accomplish in life? And then, because, um, you know, you blink and it's, like, five years, ten years. Yeah. Um, which is the reason why I'm so home. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> um, But, you know, the, these all these speeches, it's like, uh, what are they called? All these speeches that they make. Um, I remember one, there was a speaker, and I forgot where it whose gradu graduation it was, but it was a guy who was saying, like, do you want to be successful or do you want to be, um, what was the other word? It was basically saying, like, when you're successful, it means you're pretty much, like, it's self-serving. But when you're walking in your purpose, um, you're creating, you're creating, oh my God, what is the word? I forgot. But basically it's saying one is just self-serving and the other one, you're serving others. So which yeah. one do you want to, do you, do you, do you want to fall on? Right. And a lot of times we think of our careers, we think about like, it's very linear. You think about you, 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 you get the car, you get the house, you get the career and stuff like that. But when you're serving your purpose, it's really about reaching out and helping other people. And I think that is what makes, you know, life worth living and, you know, in, in the, in the meantime. So yeah. anyway, it's just a little two cents. No, I agree. And like, um, so to what mine is, it's very similar to yours, which is at yeah. first I was like, dang, she's taking mine. But like one thing that I want people. We're two souls united. To, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, one thing I want you want to marry me? To, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're too similar. That would not work oh, out. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I was going to lose it. I was going to lose it. Can I say it? Yeah, yeah, It says, do you want to live a successful life or do you want to live a life of significance? I was like, period. Ooh. That is a word. That is a word, honey. And Ooh. it just came to me. Okay, God really wanted me to tell you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. no I mean, a successful like, life or a life of significance. Oh, I love significant. that. Yes. So it's yeah. like, do you want to be successful or do you want to live a life of significance? And to me, it's always going to be a life of significance because, again, you can have the money. You can have all the power and the wealth. But look at Hollywood. Like, look, look at all that. God says, like, you know, um, wait, what does he say? What does he say? It's like we are the tree, the branches. I'm so bad at analogies. But you know what I mean? It's like we are, um, you know, we are God's we are God's children and we're supposed to glorify him, you know. Not saying that you can't have money and all this stuff, but like once you make money your master, you're really just serving yourself. And it yeah. never ends. And those things are the that's the thing with when you chase material things, when you chase all these all these worldly things, like it just it never satisfies and never satisfies. And I think it's because we were never meant to be satisfied with the worldly things, you know? Yeah. Um, so anyway, it's long story short, you know, we're preaching. Remember, I yeah. always, this is, the, this is how the podcast starts. I, I go and have like, ha ha ha. And then I get into preaching for some reason. But anyways, yeah. So it's like, do you want to live a successful life or a life of significance? And I always remember that speech. And it's very hard for me to remember stuff because my brain is like, oh. so yeah, that was a very powerful speech that I now want to share with you. Yeah, no, that's good. And like to piggyback off of that, I feel like you said, and, like, and to piggyback, uh, but to piggyback off of that though, is in um, like I've realized in life, and this is something that I've also realized with age, is like yeah. other, I don't want to say like other people, because mm -hmm. doing something for someone else has been the like number one thing to like comfort me, to me. And yeah. I don't even talk about like singleness, like, once I have been like, okay, I need to focus on the podcast because I do. I love doing the podcast. I yeah. think it's, the podcast is not just about me. Um, yeah, sometimes you I... know people need to hear that message, and it, it's sometimes like it's sometimes you think about it like, oh, you don't want to share this weakness or vulnerability because you don't want to be seen as weak or vulnerable. But it's like God is using that to for you to share that with other people to bring them comfort and hope. You know, and yeah. I think sometimes you can we can really get um, you know 
taken back by that because we I, I mean i know i get caught up because it's like you you want that balance like i don't want to share that my life's perfect but also don't want to tell people oh my god this is all this stuff like it's not i don't want it to be right. like an open journal and right. it's just yeah but no i know what you mean sorry it's rough well yeah so like so it means something like i'm doing something for someone else the yeah. work that i do in the pro-life community it means i'm doing something for someone else when i'm focusing more on that i feel so I feel like I don't have time to feel bad about myself or about my current situation. I don't feel yeah. like I, even when I look back at like a month of my life or like a couple of months of my life, I think about the times where I'm feeling like a lot better. And like, I'm not like, Oh, what was me is when I'm busy, when I'm doing, when you're things. serving, so like that's yeah. when I'm serving. And I think that's truly like, that's, I guess also too the success versus significance. I think yeah. we are not meant to, only be self-serving to only do things for ourselves to only our yeah. only purpose is to make sure that we're happy and we're doing things that we want to do yeah so, yeah um, yeah exactly and I, the, I don't know if mother Teresa said this but it's like if you want to change the world go home and love your family because i think a lot of the time i, I say this i'm over here like my dad's getting my last article <laughs> No, but seriously, well, that's, you it's know, like, when you when you're so when you do things just to the just to benefit the self you really i mean it can only take you so far as like how many and this is coming from someone that i love myself like i love me a little glam day a little makeup blah, blah, blah. but it's like how much of that can you do to, that truly will bring you like everlasting happiness you know like it yeah. says happiness is a feeling joy is a choice and like you with with god and i think also with like living in your purpose and just serving other people you know you 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 get that joy you get you're like oh and even even if you're even if your life is in shambles, I think that's the biggest difference of like being joyful versus being happy. Because I think being happy is like, oh, I went to Starbucks, I'm happy. I went to the mall, I'm happy. But it's a very fleeting feeling. But it's like when you can, you know, when you look at your life and be like, oh, I, you know, I did all this for other people. Uh, uh, no one's going to sit there and be like, oh, I regret it. Like, I don't think you'll, you'll say that, you know, I think it's the, right. the latter. And I, I honestly, think, sorry, picking back up on that, I think like also. <laughs> Whenever I was in college, I did a lot of more um, like volunteering and stuff. And I can't say I've been doing the same for like the past year since I've been in corporate America and like working and stuff. Um, and I mean, there's no excuse, but whatever. Right. That's just kind of how it played out. But just recently, I went to um, a backpack thing, like right before the kids went back to school. We basically made uh, like 100, 150 or 200 backpacks for all the kids. We stuffed backpacks for all the kids going back to school. And I literally kid you not, Mel, it was I was like, oh my gosh, like it just felt so good. And I, and I'm like, why the heck did I stop doing this? So anyways, that's just now like think reflecting. I'm like, I should really go back and like serve and stuff. Um, even if it's like once a month, like everyone can get it out of their schedule to go and serve. There's, and the thing is, there's such a great need. Like when you actually go and talk to these nonprofits, they're, they're literally so happy to have volunteers and they're like, oh my gosh. And it's so fun. So anyways. Because I'm like thinking another thing to do that doesn't involve money, but you're also helping someone else. And that's like the perfect thing. It's like, you can still do yeah. your brunch, just go and help. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. And for me, um, the legacy question, I really want to be known as someone who included people. I like, that's something I, I think about a lot. Like, I really want to be the person who like, you can say, Mallory, listen to what you had to say. That you can say, <laughs> yeah like i shouldn't be able to say like you know what like, you're a did... third person already no. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> so like when i said when i said i want you to be able to say like i listened to what you had to say like i want you to be able to say yeah. like like that's a legacy i want to leave like i value yeah. you i included you like no one because like you know yeah I, yeah <laughs> no i love that it, it sometimes it's so cheesy but it's like you know, when you look back, you're like, in all the moments you had a, a rough time or whatever, you really think about the people that were there, like that were really mm -hmm. there. They were the hands and feet of Jesus. And like, that's really what you take away. And most of the time, and it, it's kind of sad because a lot of the times we neglect those people as soon as things get better. And it's almost like we kind of forget them. But then it's like we go back to our superficial friends that are like, oh, well, you weren't even checking on me when I was, you know, in the dumpster fire. But that's just God's love, right? We have to just show it without wanting or receiving anything in return. Um, and so I think, yeah, I, I just, I, it's definitely a good reflection. Cause I, I haven't even thought about all this. I um, would so ever think that dies significant. I always yeah. think about this. Yeah. No, I don't know why. It, I just it crosses my mind. I feel like I forgot. I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. Um, no, but yeah, it's definitely something to think about. And, you know, we, the good thing is, you know, we, 
for those of us that are, you know, alive, God gave us each day and to not take it for granted. I think it's hard to like, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think it's so hard in the moment to be like, oh God, I'm grateful for these children. I'm grateful for my singleness. I'm grateful for, you know, my spouse or whatever. Cause like, uh, it's hard to do it in the moment, but when you look back, you're like, people that talk about grief and talk about losing a a loved one they're like I would give anything to like see my loved one you know I would give anything to pick up my husband's socks or you know I do have friends that are are, are widows and family and things like that and it just like it breaks my heart but all we can do is love each other in the now and serve each other because again we're not here for forever so it's always definitely good to um keep reflecting on it um because again uh it's like most people that are like that do have loved ones that have gone they're like oh gosh I would you know I would give anything and one lady was talking about how she goes to the nursing home because she doesn't have her parents around anymore and so that Mm. really helps her heal and it's crazy right how God works I think like sometimes with all that pain and um all the love that you have for your loved ones and it's like almost like serving other people like won't obviously fill that void but it does definitely help you know um which I do think a lot of people that do go to grief and stuff, um, it must be hard to navigate. And yeah, just thinking about all of them. And like I said, thinking about Liam's family and, and his child and all the people you leave behind, you know, because they're the ones that are stuck with, not stuck, but they're the ones that are going to have to go through the grieving process. And that's just hard, no matter how you slice it. Yeah. And I'll end it on this. What is grief I'm but like, not love persisting? And then let's just listen. What does it say? Is this love that has nowhere to go? And that's just like, oh, yeah, that's my heart. So, well, the only reason no I'm not to crying transition. is because... <laughs> I said, on the positive side, none of us cried. Yeah. I'm I actually... will say, like, I teared up a little bit. And it's, once again, I'm not like a huge One Direction fan. I think I was just thinking about, like, oh, that's sad. Yeah, but... Like, I. He made good music. And then, I mean, the way that it happened is so tragic. He made good music, you know, lots of people. I actually had to, like, kind of skip some TikToks because some people, like, it's just yeah. so sad. Like, it, it's I'm, like, like, the dignity of human life. It really has. Yeah. It, it's so sad. So, like, I'm like, oh, I can't. I don't want to cry. Like, even, and, you know, I do that with, it takes nothing for me to cry. Like, someone hey, else can be crying about like, something. That's a really big deal yeah someone else could be talking about somebody like they just their cousin and it could be like a random stranger if they start crying i'll probably start crying like it's just i have no idea who it is i have no connection with this person and i'll watch like um brother like i watch this video of this brother talking about his sister's um wedding given the speech i'm like sobbing i'm like i don't know these people like is this why am i crying no anyway there's no oh yeah oh, that's there's no way to really transition without sounding weird so i'm just going to go ahead and move to the next story um i've been trying to decide like what else to talk about this week so the okay. other major thing was the victoria secret fashion show did you watch it i did not but i did watch the clips on tiktok me and it was kind of they gave me the Same. they gave me the the skinny on the victoria secret fashion show and i'm kind of like feeling myself right now with this hair makeup <laughs> you look I'm good my own, you should have been a show angel here. Yeah, I will, take her, I will take that compliment, and I will. Uh, that's the hill I will die on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was just talking to my makeup artist, so I have these. I actually use this um like at home mobile service where they come and do your makeup and hair. Um, so shout out to them. But anyways, uh, so yeah, they came to do my hair and makeup this morning. <laughs> if you guys saw the last episode, I was like, a oh, girl, I looked terrible." But it's okay, you can say that. I'm I'm okay with it. I know I look terrible, but anyways. So I was like, you know what? Not today. I'm like, not today, Satan. So I I booked my makeup and glam people. They came to my door. My dad was like, who's at the door? <laughs> so, That's so funny. That's, That's something my dad would be too. Oh my gosh. And so I'm like, um, can y'all like eat and go over there like in the kitchen? But no, so then they came in and they do it. And we were just talking about, <laughs> and we were just talking about um, the, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And I was like, yeah, it's crazy. Like in my head, and I don't know, maybe that's why like older people, older generations are like, oh, you, you're still 15 years old. And I'm like, um, I'm 30 and I'm have a, about to have a mortgage. But no, because like the Victoria's <laughs> Secret models, you know, Adriana um, Lima, I believe, right? Lima. Adriana Lima. Yeah. I think Kate Moss. There was a few of the OGs who are based, already have teenage daughters. And I'm like, that's so weird because I'm like in my head, they're still like 
20 they're still in their prime doing the runway yeah. you know but it's like oh crap like yes it makes sense most of them are in their mid 40s and they they of course they have a teenager daughter yeah. you know and they look they're good to grasp yeah they look good so this was kind of like their crowning if you will of like the new generation of Victoria's Secret models um uh, and yeah I don't know if, I mean I don't know if this is a talking point but they were just like oh um people are just kind of like you know like the nepo babies and stuff how people are like well they they shouldn't do this blah, blah 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 like they make it hard for everybody else but honestly look it's all about connections in this world and especially in the business world and so like that, that's just the name of the game it's the same thing as if you go on a job interview if you know the hiring manager or you you or you know someone in that company they're most likely going to hire you over your other people it's about, obviously if you have the qualifications as well so i'm just like just obviously you could be a hater just say it and then like let's move on you know you can still be petty but also like hey that's just how it is you know like you have all and, the right to be petty and angry but just it is what it is like if i if, if yeah. you know it's i was life. i don't know it's life literally like if i had a celebrity cousin i'm going to their party i'm going to all their stuff well maybe the the yeah anyways um but yeah so there was saying <laughs> like let me not say party <laughs> um, but, there, but yes yes we get what you mean i'm talking about the, the birthday party stuff um yeah. no but like um speaking of the second generation of victoria's secret models uh yeah people were saying oh like that's just not fair blah 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 i'm sorry but if my mom is adriana lima i walk in that room and i don't care what else. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something i've said this numerous times i'm not against nepotism like first of all if i can take advantage of it i will let's let's be honest we all would don't be like okay. that's so stupid to be like no no you would that's like that's <laughs> life to if, let's say this podcast becomes some big major thing my daughter's gonna be the next host like it's why would you someone else if i have a daughter uh hello that, this is your like your god-given you need and, to get a and, job but like it doesn't make sense and to be to honest me. and to be honest it's to be honest it's kind of like it's kind of like uh it is what it is like they someone worked hard right even is. if it's not the yeah. other person because it's like you can't have a business forever. Uh, I mean, you can't. You you will die. Your business will still live on, which is kind of cool. That that is the yeah. legacy, right? So it's like that is why give it to yeah. someone else if it's going to stay in the family. And even and even then, sometimes it gets it gets heated with family members. So it's not all like roses and butterflies. I'm sure they pay a cost. Like you have to find you have to have the family, but also the family that's not going to screw you over. You know, mm-hmm. that's actually going to carry your legacy. But I'll anyways yeah. back to the Victoria's Secret. I think it was. Um, I think it was. I think it was cool. I mean, honestly, like um, when I did see the the people walk, the people, the models walking, take the people, the <laughs> the supermodels walking the runway. I was like, oh my gosh! And I heard those wings are like forty pounds. Like they're actually really heavy. I was yeah. watching this girl like dissect the videos, and she's like, you guys don't understand how like heavy these wings are. So the fact that these women are out there like strutting their stuff, and you can tell because their 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 legs are like chiseled, and they're you could tell that they're like really using them. To hold the, the, the wings. I'm like, it's not yeah. The only wings I, I want are the lemon pepper. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the clip that. That's funny. The um, only wings I will have are the lemon pepper wings. I should do love wings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I kind of want some lemon pepper wings for lunch. Really? Um, but yeah, like I definitely, I so I didn't watch it. Honestly, as girly as I am, I don't really care about fashion shows. I just, yeah. I don't know. I just don't care. Like, that's it, like it, a, uh, something I don't care about. But I do watch the clips. And yeah. obviously, I have opinions when I see clips. Uh, yeah. But, like, I don't, I, I'm going to just mention it because that's something that happened. Um, And I feel like people care. And, like, when I saw it, I looked beautiful. Like, it looked really cool. Um, well, Yeah. And everyone is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, the whole I controversy say... was, oh, I'm sorry, go. Yeah, go ahead. No, what was the controversy? Well, it was the fact that they haven't had a show in like five years, so that was the right, big thing. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it was a controversy, but they were like, "Oh, like I would expect it more because it's been five years and blah blah blah." Yeah. Uh, well, and then in today's like, so- really quick, like in today's society, though, I think this stuff is like really hard to navigate, for lack of a better word, just because yeah. you want to make sure you're saying the right because it's all body inclusivity body positivity yeah. all that stuff right yeah and it's like diversity there's so and it's crazy because in the past five years uh it was i was on tiktok i retweeted this guy he's like we had a moment where we were just america again like yes how did we ever cancel hot people yeah <laughs> and I think it, like, he's like how did we ever yeah. cancel hot people that's funny it's true it's like 
you know, it's not their fault. They're beautiful, like, you know, yeah. whatever. But it, it's just funny because they would say, like, where do we get to a point in America where we, like, cancel top people? But obviously there was more into it. I think it was the organization, right? They had made some claims mm-hmm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, and I'm all about body positivity and all that stuff. I think it's great to have all shapes and sizes and colors. I mean, obviously I'm Latina and I'm not your stereotypical yeah. Latina. You know, you think about Latinas, you think about curvy and bodacious. And that's just not me. It probably will never be me. But that, you know, so I'm all about that. But I think when, like, sometimes it's like, it's like Trump telling a steakhouse that they need to sell McDonald's food. That's just not right. what they're catered to. So Victoria's Secret is the beautiful, gorgeous, tall, skinny models. And that's just, you know, that is what it is. And I can't even, I don't even, I don't even put, I wouldn't, even, I would never want to walk the runway. I'm sure, blah, 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 all this stuff. So I'm not saying it because I'm whatever. It's like, I'm, I'm including myself here too, that I'm not part of that. And that's hey. okay. And I'll say this as someone who is fat. Like, I've never, I think that's the other thing, too. I've never, and I don't mean this in a derogatory or negative way. I've just never cared because, like, I could never wear any of their stuff. So why am I going to, like, even when I was young, well, when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to. And then by the time I was allowed to, like, they didn't have my size. But, like, I just didn't care. And and to me, I was like, okay, that's their thing. So, like, I I agree with the cancel the hot people thing. Like, let them have their thing. Like, if that, if they want to do things for skinny people, like, what's the big deal um they want to do things for skinny people what's the big deal like go for it like I, that's yeah. one thing i will say like i don't agree with and you know a lot of plus size people are like no we need to be let's push through i don't know like why i, I just don't feel that way and yeah actually, like, Graham, every, for example is not fat like i just and every I'm brand right here i'm like she's she and and and, and and also, like, every brand is different. Like, if you want to create a brand where you right. do have all shapes and sizes and colors and everything, go create it. Like, no one's stopping right. you. you know? My whole thing right. is, like, leave people, leave people and brands alone. Like, I get it. For the most part, everyone's just trying to just not get canceled. And it's really hard in this environment. And I think that's why they were mm-hmm. not on the sh- That's why they didn't really, I, I think, or I don't know if this was actually a thing, but that's one of the big reasons why they didn't have shows these last years because they're like, think so too. They, were dang, they were damn, dang if they do and dang if they don't. So I was kind of like, what, yeah. what do they do? And like, and, and a lot of things have changed. Like, granted, a lot of things have changed for the better. Like, because they were, the last controversy that I'll talk about is Tyra Banks because they were saying, uh uh-uh, uh, I know she did not come out. <laughs> they were mad. The people were mad I in the know, comments. That... They're like, I know she didn't come out with her curvy, or I don't know if they said curvy self, but basically saying like, she they like she ate girls alive for being like my size talking about over, i'm overweight or something and it was like crazy now that is like yeah that was like some hardcore bullying yeah so that was definitely extreme i don't know i actually didn't watch the show maybe that's why we all have issues but <laughs> we all have trauma <laughs> but um i yeah Ty- they got they gave a lot of crap to tyra and it was kind of funny but i know time, like let her live they were like no without walk to they were like, that walk was wobbly, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was like, I think she looked cute. I mean, I, I honestly can't tell the difference. I'm not a supermodel, so I don't know right. the difference. I the walk, thought the but, walk was yeah. fine. I thought her look was fine, except I'm going to say this. And, like, it's, why did they do her hair like that? Like, yeah. it could have done something different for her hair. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even and, say the, the tights. The, I felt like the tights was, like, you were, like, it was kind of like a last-minute outfit, you know? Like, I feel yeah. like they didn't put much thought to her outfit and her in her hair i don't and, think it had anything yeah. to do with her walk or her body and it just had to do with the outfit right. it didn't serve her the out i agree the whole thing like yeah. i think her body is fine especially she's a mom like who cares like i think her body was fine like she's yeah. not like you know morbidly obese like uh, oh, so it's what her, everyone, I mean, these, these are retired top supermodels they right everyone right knew that they're, they're not the look, on yeah. yeah the look was just and it's supposed to be her iconic moments so i was a little disappointed in that because i do I used to watch, yeah, I, I didn't think, watch I, America's Next Time. I watched her talk show. Which oh my is God, also like, watch, what eight-year-old is watching I, a talk show? But I that thought was it was me. America's Next Top Model. Like, I really thought I was about to be America's Next Top And I thought I was going to be the next talk show host. I used to love that talk show. I, oh, oh my God, God yeah. Like, looking back, she actually like, why did. was I watching that? I, you, she I came, came, I, I came home from the bus. Cold. Yeah, she really did. She, um, I was literally, I would literally wait, get out of the, um, the bus, like when my, when the bus came to drop us off from school, girl, I turned it on, like, like it was my religion. I was like, terrible. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Same. And my mom <laughs> always joked that I would come home, I get on the phone, call my friend and we would be yeah. on the phone watching it together and talking yeah. about it, which is so like, 
what a girl does that she, but she I, had a lot of fun yeah. stuff because it was all about makeovers and glam yeah. and i think it was like she cut she did have a really good like feel with her uh like just presses with audience. her audience and then she, there was yeah. a very sex top model so she was kind of already there and then um she was at, as the judge and then she was the talk show and then that movie remember the life-size barbie or whatever yes such and a I think that was, just kiss such a good movie and i will say i think it, it was great to have a you know an african-american you know um barbie because it was yes. obviously i i will i will definitely relate more to <laughs> the sisters than yeah. uh you know uh and barbie i don't i don't yeah. look nothing like her. so it was cool to see that on tv especially what, in like beautiful. the early 2000s yeah, yeah. Tyra was gorgeous in any shape size age and honestly yeah. it was really cool to see that like your life does not stop in your 20s your life doesn't yes. stop in your 30s beautiful comes in all ages and sizes and colors and it was actually really not it was really refreshing like i said i was like oh it also gave me a really like another like perspective of like now i'm in my late i'm in my 30s so it was cool to see like hey you can be beautiful in your 30s and 40s and 50s like you got nothing to worry about you know just take care of yourself uh inside out for sure i was gonna say that was another that's a good point you're making like yes and the key to do that is to make sure you're taking care of yourself you're being on top of your health you are you know exercising eating right you're doing all these things going to pilates um other activities that you do that you know your body likes so like that's a huge role to it too and you know we're being honest i'm sure there's some sort of surgeries and you know exactly fillers here and there but like some of it isn't that though like that's one thing like that sure but also is like working out it is being healthy it is doing things for your mind it is some of those moms quit because they wanted to focus on their children. And I think that also helps keep you young. I, I, you know, I'm yeah. just but I don't know. No, I, don't I, I agree. Like I but said, I think, I think it, it was really good. Yeah. Like I said, I think it was good, especially for millennials. Because honestly, I think we've been through a lot, if, to say the least, as far as like body, <laughs> uh, body shaming and all this stuff. I mean, yeah. we grew up in a di- very different generation, like I said, with the tire. Most of these shows that like, and hopefully the younger crowd listens to this because I think it's funny and also like kind of gives you an insight of like why we're like this you also kind of like you realize a lot of millennials we have like the dark humor because we've been through so freaking much Mm -hmm, like how much mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. um uh, what is it called worldly things can happen before we're like yeah going to therapy um but (laughs) but it's like yeah like we grew up i mean all the shows that probably we would watch growing up would probably be canceled like Oh, there's 100%. no way there's no way they were gonna be airing right now tire banks would not be airing like america's no, like stuff all, no, all, all this no, even no, the no. dating shows there were the dating shows that were like rape my room were, and you're like yeah, or next, get in the next, next next was brutal like i was like oh my brutal. god people would bang the door they just go next like i can't like that would be my 13th reason i would not exactly. be able to like i, I, can't, I that, wonder what those people are doing story. now oh my gosh that is so funny like can you think about all the shows so i think it was a good little moment our chat what is it we're healing the earth is healing because we watched the 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 victoria's secret fashion show you're like oh like they're moms and they're older and they're out there being confident like i think i mean it's also it's also about perspective if you go there saying oh blah 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 like that's what you're gonna see you know yeah so anyway for sure another family story last story really quick to um wrap this up i'm going to talk about something that's going viral and i want your older sisters to give you a little bit of advice it's something i i know both of us have like opinions on yeah so i'm gonna play this tiktok that's going viral right now um and i'm sure you've heard it already um because you are okay, like let's hurry before my phone checks you live in la with your boyfriend right that's right three things going on Dilly sex, babe, I want to move back to Texas to be close to my dad. So you give up half of your career, quit your improv trip and have a goodbye party. Take off months of work, deplete your savings to pay for movers and drive to Texas. So worth it for the love of your life that wants a future with you because he said so. So you spend a month waiting for shit to hit, then another month in the building future and Not this whole time. Mm. 
Okay. The rest of the song, because it's like a minute and some change. I don't want to keep it going, but like the rest of the song is yeah. her. Wow, thank you for informing me. And it's going viral. Honestly, I do love the beginning. Imagine. Yeah, I, I, say, I do like with I, your boy. The song friend. is kind of catchy. I'm not going to lie. The song's kind of catchy. <laughs> no, so like, I, I'm going to subliminally week. sing it to my boyfriend. Be like, imagine. I well, okay. next week I would be like at my desk. Imagine. Like, imagine. imagine. <laughs> That's gonna be the anthem. Yeah. No. So Ooh, what are in your all thoughts? seriousness, let's get serious now, girls. Yes. Let's get and serious. Show the sisters. So again. Oh we got like so let's get serious. Last time it's... I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, no, no. We okay. can do we got five. We what? can do it in four minutes. Um what what are your thoughts? Let's now? get serious. My thoughts. A couple of things. Um, well, first I'm gonna say something funny. When she says, um, he loved me, I thought he did because he said so. It always makes me laugh because it's like this tweet that I saw. It was like, silly me for thinking that you love me because you told me you loved me. Like, that's so, at least I know, know. like, <laughs> sorry, experience that's so relatable. Like, you know, like, he'll be like, you'll love me forever, and then like you believe it, and then like he's not. So it's like, you're um, like, so that's oh, the first just thing. Kidding. I right. So that's the first thing I think is funny. I think there's two, so two points that I want to make. Number one, oh. the moving from LA with your boyfriend, leaving your savings, leaving it all up, moving to Texas with your boyfriend. Okay. I think that is like going back. So I've, I've been thinking about it because I want to talk about this. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Younger me is like, huh, that's what you do for love. Are you kidding exactly. me? Like if you love someone, give everything up. It's okay. Older me, especially if you have nothing to lose, older me um, feels a little differently. At this age, I think that, like, well, first of all, going to make the second point, three and a half years of dating um, and not being together. Uh, hello, red flag, no ring. And, like, moving with someone with no ring, you've been dating that long, I think that is, like, no 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 a bad idea if he and here's something that i you know people uh, if he wants to marry you he will he if he wants to marry you, he will so i think it's a bad idea Go ahead. <laughs> make me your wife yeah that's exactly right and I, and last thing to wrap, yes, one hundred percent. And the last thing to wrap it up is like one thing that I've learned, and like I'm trying to always remind myself too, is like if someone wants to be with you, they will be with you. If they don't want to be with you, they're not going to. And you're wondering like, is this what so just someone? If he wanted to be with you, he would be with you. If he wanted to, hey, I'm talking to myself like a specific situation. If he wanted to message you, he would message you. He's not messaging you because he doesn't want to message you, right? And you've been dating for three and a half years. If he wanted to marry you, he would marry you. That's just, I mean, point blank period. Anyway, girlies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's your um, lessons for the day. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But that's the show. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Um, what legacy do you want to leave? How did you feel about the Victoria's Secret? And then do you have any advice for the girlies who are moving to Texas from L.A. and giving up their savings for a man um, that does not have a ring? Because, and I just want to reiterate, like, we're not those girls like, don't have anything for a man. We're not like that at all. I think that if you, I that clear, and any boys listening, no, I'm just joking. Um, no, I think that clear, we're not like that. Like, like we said, like, if she, if he had given her an engagement ring, leave, like, do all right love you guys uh comment let us know um subscribe share with your friends all that jazz follow us on instagram i'll link all that i'll link the things we talked about that you need to see i'll link the video uh listen to it help this girl get some coins to get her savings back um yeah um, have a good day night evening however wherever you're listening bye